Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So before we get to the video, quickly do the old spill as we always do. I apologise. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below what you think of this video. And also, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Right, so um I've done money boxes before and I shall grab it. Why do I always do this? I always say, oh, I'll grab it. I'll just quickly grab it. I never think before I start filming to actually grab the stuff. Do you know what? You know, you should really get your brain together. Right, so I have done money boxes, more money tins before, as you can see. Lovely bit of cat hair on it. But yeah, I've done money tins before. But obviously, they're not thingy. So, when I was looking on the works for all my other bits and pieces, I saw these wooden ones. And also, they actually have the um, slot at the bottom for money to go in and out. So, that means that you haven't got to destroy this to get your money. You know, you haven't got to destroy like you do, like, to be honest, I reckon you, if you know somebody who's crafty, you know, good at, we've got a good drill or something, you could be able to um, drill a hole in the bottom. But, so, we are doing ourselves another money box this time. So, yeah, another repeat type thing for you, for, like, the people who have been with me a while, but... I thought it'd be interesting to see if you, you know, some of you like who it might be easier because it's a square surface, not a rounded surface. And obviously, it'll be easier to decorate the top as well because I found it quite hard to decorate the top of this one. So, yeah, definitely it should be easier. So, let's change the angle and we'll get cracking, shall we? Right, so as you can see, I've gotten quite far with this and I haven't, oh, I'm going to tell me, there you go, I mean, you guys can see better. Um, I've gone quite far with this and I didn't really do much time lapse or anything. I've been just getting on with it in between like work and that. So I'll show you the other bits for now. The other side, so I've only got this little bit left to do at the top. Then I've got, turn it this way, so I've got, this type of pattern, this pattern, this pattern, and this pattern. Just to give you a guide, so I've used mainly rounds. I use rounds on three sides. I use square on this, and I'm using square on the top. Just to give you guys an idea of what you could do with rounds or squares, so then you don't... So you think, oh, I've only got rounds, so I don't know what to do, or I've only got squares, so I don't know what to do. To just give you a few ideas of what you can do, I'm mostly going to take off the bottom strip of this because they seem to be popping off all the way along the bottom. And yeah, so this is as far as I've got. And I've literally only done a little bit of time lapse in that, so bad Gemma. And I've thinking to myself, I haven't done no talky talky yet. So I thought, right, I better get some talky talky done. So I know that some of you guys do enjoy a bit of talky talky. Don't know why I call it talky talky, but I do. So yeah, right. So as promised, giveaway. I am, I'm not showing it in the title. I'm not showing it at all because I want people who actually watch to win it, not some random person who's just searching giveaways on YouTube. Might sound a bit horrible, but you know, I saw last time there was a load of people that were just coming over just to enter giveaways and hadn't got a clue of what they was entering for. So yeah, I'd rather have somebody who naturally, you know, watches win than somebody who don't watch win. They call me horrible, but you know, I would much rather do that. So, what will be their giveaway? Giveaway will be 
tell me a joke. A random joke. And then, so then it doesn't give it away too much in the comments. And it could be something silly, like a man walks into the bar, a bar. Ouch. You know, something silly. I don't, you know, just tell me a joke. I know, I know what it is. And then just put a uh, UK or other. So UK, put UK, any other country, put other. So then like, I know that I've got who's where. And there'll be two, uh, hopefully two prizes for each. Uh, so two prizes for the UK, two prizes for other, all the other countries, and as, as long as the, I can send it to you from AliExpress. Um, prizes for other countries will be a nice diamond painting like this, a nice, nice diamond painting pen like this, and a home farm mystery diamond painting. Not, It's not going to be massive, they're going to be... I think, I think I can go up to like a 40 by 40 my budget. So not huge, but still something, you know, that you'll be getting for free. And then UK, I will put you together a little goodie bag of a diamond painting and some other bits and pieces and that that I've got. Um, that I've been collecting. I have ordered some other bits, but whether or not they arrive is another thing. So, yeah, two prizes UK, two prizes other. So, yeah, I and this way, I think, if you don't, if I don't go putting it in a title, I think that makes it more fair on people who actually come to watch diamond painting videos and not people who just are searching diamond, uh, searching giveaways on YouTube. Because at the end of the day... What's the, you know, and then leave me a. <clears throat> I will put you a number underneath each name. So UK one two three four five six etc. And then other one two three four five six etc. And then I'll do a random number generator, and do it that way. That way it's more fun. And obviously do it by number of generator. Means I don't know who's winning. But it just means that I know that it's done at random. Everything else. And I'll just record it on my screen. I'll, record, I'll use my phone to record my screen on my iPad to record the winners. So... Yeah, I think that's the best, the most fairest way how to do it. That's how I did last time, and everyone seemed pretty happy. So, yeah, that is how I'm going to do it. Um, and then I will contact the people if you're on my um. If you, I know some people ain't on um, any form of social media, which is absolutely fine. You can still enter. I will, um, if it's okay with you, I will um, send you a, um, I'll do a comment and say, send me to you, like, to a, different email address and so I get your address and then I can um I keep going more brain blank today and then I can get your address and I can send it off to you get it ordered and send it off to you I think that sounds pretty fair does that sound pretty fair to you guys I'll try to keep it fair as fair as possible so yeah, there'll be two prizes for everywhere else and two prizes for the UK. Um, I know it gives like the UK people a better chance of winning, but 
I can't say like two prices for every single country out there, otherwise I will be broke. I will not be able to do a diamond painting video for a while because I will be absolutely broke. So yeah, the competition will close a week after the video goes live. Uh, so this will go live on a Thursday at 6 p.m. And you have a week to watch and comment with a joke and UK other and then if I, yeah, how, and I will comment underneath you and say, let you know if you're a winner and then find out how's the best way to get your address so i can send you your order it and get it sent to you from aliexpress straight to your doorstep otherwise it would just be one prize per country because it'll get quite expensive that way does that sound fair i as i just didn't want yeah i want to keep it fair for people but i don't want random people who just searches for giveaways to end up because so you're entering a diamond painting competition and or giveaway and you you don't even know what it is and you try to explain and they obviously language barriers and all that and it just didn't really and you know you say go back and watch a different video and explain what a diamond painting is and everything and they just don't want to watch different videos and everything else like that. So I want to keep it fair, keep it for people who actually want to watch the videos and not just searching for giveaways because why do I want it to go to somebody? And I'm so glad it didn't last time. It went to people who actually watches or does diamond painting. Because I would not, to be honest, I would not have been impressed. You know, it, Random people who don't actually watch any diamond painting videos, you just enter in giveaways just for the sake of it. So, yeah, so we'll do it that way. Tell me a joke, uh, let me know if you care or other, and then as long as obviously I can order it from AliExpress. If I can't order it from AliExpress to your country, then I don't know what I can do. I have a budget and I could stick to that budget unfortunately and then <clears throat> um yeah and I'll let you know if you have won so I hope that sounds fair I really really do and at the end of this uh, should I do the end of this video or should I do the next review video I think I might do the next review video because obviously I'm jabbering on for way too long again. But I um, had a package come from the lovely Jane. And I did record myself I'm with Pinnick because I do find that some people like to see you open the package. So I recorded myself and I just got out of bed open the package so i will include that i think in the next video just so because i think that this one might end up going on for too long because i know i'm like something that i only meant to take me like 30 seconds to explain it's just taking me like maybe 10 minutes i reckon you know well the gemma but yeah so that's how i'm gonna do the old giveaway and then yeah the lovely jay bless her I will include it in another video of the um me open it but she sent me this lovely storage kit and I'm extremely pleased with it let me move this to the side so if the I don't even know if you can see it for the reflection but yeah she's ordered me this really nice storage set and obviously I've got the one that Debbie gave me, which I use for another project. And I'm put, and I'm working on a Home Farm Mystery painting that's going to be a series. So I put all my drills in there. 
from that. And obviously I've got my other set, which I mean, which are currently being used for Sophie. But yeah, I did a proper unboxing and showed you all everything that came in it. And I just thrown things around. But yeah, that part, that little segment will come. I'll see how it goes for cut um when I'm cutting this video for time or I will include it in um my next review video. Um yeah. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. But yeah. So I'm very, very, very nearly done. Really enjoying how it's coming out. I do think it looks really nice. I know, like, <coughs> excuse me, most people, when they do, right, if anybody else actually does this, you don't have to obviously do different patterns on each. I've generally done different patterns to show, so just to give you guys a little bit of inspiration of what you could do. So they, you know, you know, I know what it's like when you just don't know what to do on something. I really do. So yeah, that is my my thought process on this. You know, I thought right, I'll do different different things on each side, and just to give you guys just an idea what you could do you do whatever you want though you know there's so much you could do it's unreal and you know show me what you do i love seeing um your spares ideas and everything like um i've just had quite a few people join my facebook page and that, you know, and some people start to share their ideas. And it's so nice to see. I love seeing people's ideas of what they come up with and everything. It's so nice. You know. And then, um, I just... I do love see and then um Debbie did a um a notebook the other day which I was really pleased to see. She posted that on Instagram. So yeah, she um she did a notebook and she just it looks really good. She thought I did I couldn't think of a pattern. I said, like, it doesn't matter, it looks good. And she did do a fab job. Debbie, you did a fab job. Don't under underestimate yourself. And some reason I've got a bit screw with, and unless this hole isn't in, dead in the middle, that's all I can think of. That this hole isn't dead in the middle, or well, the box is just wonky, or just I'm just wonky. But yeah, that's the top done. So what I'm going to do when I've finished doing all the talky talky, just going to make sure that this all down and everything. No, we'll seal it now and then it'll be dry in a couple of hours so I can close up this video. But yeah, really, really pleased how it's come out. I'm missing a drill there. Have I thrown it away? Most probably. Yay. But yeah, it's done. I messed up a bit here. Um, here I made it all symmetrical. Here I forgot. I just kept going. Instead of working both outwards in. That I just did like a. Did one larger one here. And then did like a circular. Pattern. And here I did the squiggly lines first. And then. Filled in the. And then once I did all the squiggly lines. Then I filled in the gaps with the white. So yeah. Really really. Just to give you guys just a few ideas of what you can do. And obviously you've got the old man. I, I, they're kind of Mandela type style, aren't they? They still look really effective. So I use a few more special shape gems on this one. So yeah, definitely a lot of different things you can do with this. And yeah, 
thoroughly enjoy doing this. So I shall catch up with you guys in a second. After, and this will be nice and dry. Okay. I don't know why I was going to say hello then. Oh God, Gemma. <laughs> I'll leave that in just so you not can laugh at me, really. Right, isn't me just look a bit gloomy in here? Because to me, it just, it just feels gloomy. It's not too... It's cloudy outside, but not that bad. So I don't know why it's a bit gloomy, but it does. Right, so... Stop jabbering on, Gemma. So my box is done. Right, just so you know, I'll say it now. I... I was just so useless when it comes to recording. I thought I'd hit time lapse, but I didn't. I hit normal video. So the time lapse I recorded, I had to delete because there wasn't enough space on my phone so I could record this outro. So yeah, well done, Gemma. Woo! Oh, me and technology. I should be really good at it, but. I'm useless. <laughs> so yeah, my box, my money box is done. As you can see, it's got the old thing at the bottom so you can access the money in this one. So we got that on this side. And then we got that. I did screw, go a bit screw if on that one. And then like a rainbow pattern. So what you could do with like the rainbow pattern, you can like have it go to this corner and like you can create a whole circle. That makes sense. So that would look really good. And then, where was I? That, that. The random ziggly line things. And then the top side, so yeah. I do really like it. I think it's kind of really nice. Obviously I did all different patterns just to give you guys a few ideas of what you could do really. You could fit a name on it, I reckon, but it won't be, I reckon it'd be not obviously that thick letters, it might always be single thick, thick letters, unless you went like that or something. But yeah, definitely, definitely do like it. For some reason, a couple of the drills are still coming off, even though I sealed it. it might be just where I've just knocked them off because obviously, we know that they're never 100% stuck on anyway. But yeah, really, really impressed how it comes. I do like the old swiggles and I. I do like the old half, like quarter circles. And then we've got the old top there. So yeah, really, really happy with how it come out. So we have a little thing in the background. So yeah, let me know what you think of this idea. Because I, I do quite like it actually. And I apologise about the old time lapse not being there. So hopefully it will be better. I don't know, I did get the recorder right. <laughs> oh God, I'm so terrible. I have mountain times. I either think I'm doing time lapse and doing slow-mo, or I'm recording and it's slow-mo. Or I think I'm doing time lapse and it's normal video. And or I think I'm doing normal video and recording on time lapse or slow-mo. I'm terrible. I apologise. I apologise for no time lapse in this video whatsoever. So you guys that love the time lapse, I apologise. I'm so sorry. So yeah, that's it for this video. So yeah. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment down below if you think of this bears idea. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. So yeah, that's it for this video, everyone. And I shall see you in the next video. So I got a package, um, excuse this, I woke up with a banging headache and I use these to help. Um, literally I've just got out of bed. <laughs> but yeah, I got a package, I can't believe it. I didn't know this was coming. Um, so let's open it. This is from the lovely Jane. She's been one of my subscribers for a very, very long time. She's 
you know, one of the OGs, just like Debbie. She's been here, you know, been with me and followed me for a, a lot of time. I would, yeah, I did know this was coming. But I did know what this was going to be. Well, she asked me if I could use it, and I could always use more storage. So yeah, she got me a storage set. David bought me one, which is a piece that comes in very, very handy all the time. She said she saw it on um, the Vipon app and it was a too good deal to uh, mix up, you know, to um, pass up. So she grabbed it. Oh, wow. So yeah, this will definitely, definitely, definitely come in handy. As you know, we never have enough storage. So we've got six sheets. I think this is, I don't know how many pots here, there's a lot, I mean a lot, as you can see, a heck of a lot of pots. And also there's some other goodies in here which I didn't realise. So we've got, obviously we've got all our pens, we've got some extra pens, a couple of more green boats, some tweezers. A little roller and actually that feels really nice actually that'll come really really handy some really colorful grips a little pouring um, funnel lots of waxes too high so there's 20 in total and a white tray and lots of baggies, which always come in handy for me as well. And then we got all of these two, which are gonna come in so handy. Especially like for me, I've got like three or four working progresses. I've obviously got my Sophie one, which I started before she passed. And I couldn't, I haven't been able to, I tried to continue on with her, but I couldn't bring myself to it, so I carried on, um, I put it to the side for now. Oh, also, let's see, we've got a, a straight little one, not had, obviously I've got these smaller ones, but that's a really big thick one, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. But yeah, I obviously got the Sophie one I started and I couldn't finish yet. And then um, I used Debbie's ones on another project. So, small storage is fantastic. Thank you ever so much, Jane. I so appreciate it. Honestly, your support, you know, you guys' support is just amazing. It really, really is. I really do appreciate it. Honestly, um, I've got such a headache at the moment. <laughs> um, you know, I just can't believe you guys are actually just so supportive. It's crazy. It really is crazy. And I just I just can't believe that anybody, you know, will let alone want to watch me. Well, you know, I've nearly hit 500. So oh, it's mad. It's just, just absolutely crazy for me. So thank you ever so much, Jane. I... I just can't believe, you know, you guys are so generous, you know, just leaving likes and comments on, you know, the videos and that, and it's just amazing, you know, but going that extra little bit to send me so it's wonderful. Thank you ever so much. I do appreciate it. And you, I, just, I just can't believe, you know, how much you guys want to send me anything. It is crazy it really is crazy so yeah thank you ever so much i really do appreciate it and i've only said about thank you 10 times already but yeah this is going to come in so so handy you know 
especially now obviously I do the YouTube thing one, at one point I would only ever have like one work in progress now with obviously the YouTube thing I have like the whips and chats and I'm working on a mystery series and there's just so many projects you know when you're doing this so yeah thank you ever so much it's just gonna come in so so handy I really do appreciate it thank you ever so much see you later